It's his arm. All right. I'll start over. I don't think you understand. I want to feel that base in my chest. I want to scramble my skull into a bloody fucking mess. I want my sternum to radiate, my heart to completely stop, start, and then vibrate. I need it to rattle my entire ribcage and shake my brain until I forget my name. To crash into me like tidal waves, to collapse past and present pain, to thrash me like a fucking hurricane. I just want a fistful of bass to peel back my face and eat me alive. I want it to bring on the apocalypse and I do not want to survive. I want it to shatter my bones. I want it to get me drunk, to get me stoned because the bass is my drug. It really has to do with every generation needs a place to put hundreds of thousands of kids in a field to listen to cool live music. I am by my own here and I'm making new friends. It, it was at a time when a lot of energy was there in sort of the post Grateful Dead, post Fish scene, there was sort of a vacuum there. Um, that audience was looking for that same type of community. We're all a family and people don't, you know, judge you for your past or what you're currently doing. I disagree. You disagree, <laughs> really? Everything eventually gets co-opted and becomes mainstream. My guess would be you're at 150 plus. I think the festival culture is a slightly different story. I think it's more of a business sophistication story, the evolution of a business. What it brings to an individual from a, a healing and a connection standpoint, I think this is really just part of, you know, the human condition. <laughs> Even though they told me the possibility of being able to gain any muscle was minimum, I let it go in one year and out the other. I, I didn't listen. I was like, you know what, I'm going to gain muscle, I'm going to walk again, I hate all of you. I stole a lot from my family, which is kind of what led to them not talking to me for so long. So, I'm actually a pastor's son. The weak guy that you either love each other because you bonded or you want to kill each other. Yeah, I think she just thinks that it's not healthy. And if this ever pop off on some big screen, they're going to remember one thing. Hip-hop is forever.